I called yesterday at Judge King's courtroom in front of Judge King's
problem. Yeah, that's fine. Thank yep, you. you bet. No problem. She's good. I'm around with her. She's gonna, yeah. Are we ready? Number 16, 6750, People versus Charles Q. This matter before the court for a special free trial. Good morning, Judge Ralph Alessandro, Assistant Prosecutor. Danielle Bennett's on behalf of the people. And yes, good morning, Your Honor. May it please the court, Delphia Burton, appearing on behalf of and with Mr. Q. Good morning. Your Honor, we have had an opportunity to uh, negotiate and discuss the matter, and at this time, Mr. Q will be entering a guilty plea to the Charges count four and five. I don't know if you want the prosecutor to put the agreement on the record. Or no, I will. Okay. <clears throat> the record should reflect I have received a uh, signed plea form signed by the defense attorney, defendant, uh, the prosecution, and also the complainant uh, that 
uh, there is a plea agreement and a sentence agreement as to the following terms. The defendant is prepared to plead guilty to count four and five. Count four being criminal sexual conduct in the third degree, a 15-year felony. Count five, criminal sexual conduct, third degree, a 15-year felony. These would be concurrent sentences. There's a sentence agreement of five and a half to 15 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections. As part of that sentence, it would require a lifetime registration on the Sex Offender Registry Act. Uh, the uh, defendant would receive sex offender counseling, and the defendant is to not to have any unsupervised contact with minors. At the time of sentencing, the people would agree to dismiss counts one, two, and three. Is that all correct? That's all correct, Judge. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Pugh has been advised of his constitutional and statutory rights, and he's ready to respond to this. All right, and just uh, for clarification purposes, I see that there is a signature from the complainant. The complainant does agree to this, this plea agreement, is that correct? He has been apprised of all of it. He is in agreement um, and had no questions about it, and he signed the form to reflect that today, Judge. All right, if we could have uh, the defendant's warrant, please. Raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in the matter that's not being able to report to be true? All right, uh, Mr. Pugh, as uh, I've already gone through, I've received a plea form indicating you're prepared to plead guilty to those charges. What I need to do is I need to advise you of certain rights that you're giving up by pleading guilty. First, you understand that by pleading guilty, you're giving up your constitutional right to a jury trial. You're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. You're giving up your right to have the prosecutor have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you are guilty. You're giving up your right to have witnesses appear at trial to testify against you. You're giving up your right to question those witnesses. You're giving up your right to have the court order any witnesses you may have to appear in your own defense. Yes, sir. You're giving up your right to remain silent during trial and not have that silence be used against you. Yes, sir. And you're giving up your right to testify at trial if you wanted to. Yes, sir. Just one more thing. You understand that if I accept your plea today, you'll be giving up any claim that your plea today was a result of any promises or threats that were not disclosed to me today or that it's not your own free choice to enter into this plea. You understand that? Yes, All right. Uh, what's the factual basis for the plea? And I'm going to, Mr. Pugh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. Between the time frame of September of 2003 and May of 2004, did you reside at a location in the city of Detroit, 1431 Washington Boulevard? Yes. And that's in Wayne County, correct, sir? Yes. And during that time period, did you come into contact with someone by the name of Austin Williams? Yes. And during that time period, did you engage in sexual penetration on at least two occasions with Mr. Williams? Yes. And that being, you placed your penis into his anal opening, correct? Yes. And at the time that you committed these acts, during that time period, uh, Mr. Williams was between the ages of 13 and 15 years of age, correct? Yes. I'm satisfied with the factual basis, Your Honor. And how old were you at the time? Uh, 31. All right. I'm satisfied as well. I will accept your plea. November 9th. Yes. November 9th. All right. Anything further? Nothing, Nothing from the All right. We'll see you then, then. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Judge. You're welcome.